Hello everybody. This is your daily read for November. Why did I say November? And you know what? It's early enough that I could turn it around and stop the video and re-record. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to be. <laughs> so it's December 10th. And, um, got some more sage. Um, one of my friends got me that. Because I had talked about on a video that I needed more sage. <laughs> so it was really nice, um, that I got some. I'm still going to be using my little babies, though, until I can use them up. Because it's just like a quick thing. So, you already know, take what resonates and leave the rest. And I'm very thankful for my sage. We're cleansing the space. For those of you who are new here, and if you don't know about sage, Sage is for cleaning out the area of negative and positive energy. It gives it an entirely blank slate. Clears everything out. I also have the window open so energies can go and flow. And then I go behind it, like immediately behind it, with Palo Santos. Which brings back in positive energy. It smells so good. So, for today's reading, I picked Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is about self-love and knowing that you are worth that love. It's finding your self-worth even when you don't realize you need to find it. Um, one of my friends inspired me uh, last night when I was talking to her about trauma. And one thing that I have realized that, um, one thing that I definitely realized when it came to what we were discussing is that sometimes we see ourselves in the same light as our abusers. And what I mean by that is if you grew up in a household where somebody told you that you weren't shit, or if somebody told you that you weren't deserving of love, even though your higher self knows that that's not true, your lower vibrational self is going to see yourself through the eyes of your abusers. And that's where we have a hard time with healing. And so that's where things can uh, prolong itself when it comes to healing and when it comes to trauma. Because we tend to believe our abusers. You know, um, we think that we did something to cause whatever trauma. Or we we have it in our head that we did something wrong or bad in order for somebody to hate us or not like us. And when you're a child, it's hard to decipher. And you think that you did something wrong. When really you didn't. It wasn't you at all. So when it comes to the healing journey, what is important is that you see yourself for exactly who you are and you see what it is that you actually um, deserve and you allow that to happen in your life. And, you know, one of the things that I have uh, been asked before is if you know better and you know that you want love or you know that you want self-worth why keep going why do you keep going back to the same thing you know um i think all of us have gone through things where 
the way that my older sister, um, my older sister has passed away now, but one of the things that my older sister used to tell me about her own situation is that sometimes the chaos feels like home because it's what you're used to. You know what to expect out of it. You know the outcome of it. It's There's no surprises there. And so, so picking self-love or picking something positive, you have no idea what's going to happen with it. And so that's where it gets scary. And that's where it gets to be like, okay, um, I'm going to do this good for myself or I'm going to surround myself with good people. But what's going to happen? And so that's where the scary part comes in as to why some people don't choose to heal because they have been in such a pain state for so long that they don't see any other way. And they don't wanna be around people who can show them a different way. And um, it's like, they just wanna stay with what they're used to because it's something they can control. But the thing is, is that, you know, over time, even that is going to be like a loss of control because it's like really digging yourself down deeper and deeper and deeper. So it's like doing daily affirmations for yourself, doing self-love one thing at a time. It doesn't have to be something huge. It can be one thing at a time, like every day. It's not like you're going to wake up and be like, oh my gosh, I love myself and here's all of my words. No, just like you were you were taught abuse and you were taught to not love yourself through years and some decades, okay? Self-love is not going to come overnight either. Self-love is going to come through years and for some decades. But it's just you committing to the journey of self-love. And you committing to the journey of these are the people that I need around me or these are the people that I want around me and um, knowing that you're worth it, knowing that you are worth that kind of love, knowing you are worth that kind of attention and to heal that little by little and letting go of the anger of what somebody else did to you. The more that you, I'm not saying that they shouldn't be held accountable. But for some of us, that person isn't even here for us to go face to face with, you know? So it's like letting go of that trauma and letting go of that grief and letting go of that anger and finding a way to realize that was all on them. That had nothing to do with you. It will help you release and allow love. There's things within you you've got to let go so the good can come in. It's like there's too much bad baggage there. So it's like having to let go of some things so the new stuff and the good things can come in. And it's almost like, yeah, I can have, uh, I can have a sad feeling that somebody else did this to me. And you can be valid in those feelings, but you have to know that you were not um, deserving of that pain. And that's where the self-love comes in. You don't have to like the person. You don't even have to love the person that did these things to you. But the toxic ways that you view yourself, you have got to stop that part because you've taken their views on by carrying that pain. You've taken, you've closed yourself off from people who would never do those things to you by staying around energies that are continuing, continuing, continuously draining you. So it's just some things to think about. Rose quartz is a very good crystal for, I don't sell rose quartz. Well, I actually do have the Zodiac crystals and rose quartz, but like as far as uh, crystals like this, I don't have any of those in my shop, but if you're interested in the Zodiac rose quartz, 
Um, I have those in my shop and the link is down below in the description box if you're interested. But Rose Quartz can, um, you can buy, buy it at any metaphysical store, any local one. If you get it online, make sure that the person is legit and um, make sure it is exactly what it is and, you know, use your own discernment. But Rose Quartz is definitely about amplifying love, um, trying to get past trauma and anger, and knowing your own self-worth. So, for those that need to hear it, you are worth loving. You are worth good things. You are worth moving forward and going ahead. And try to be around people that um, try to get some support that will help you go in that direction and taking baby steps to healing. So with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the readings. Everything you need to know about me is down below in the description box. And I do offer personal readings. That information is down below. All of my social media platforms are down below. Um, I think that's about it. The timestamps are down below. Yep, I think that's it. All right, so we're going to get started with fire signs. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. We are going to start off with Sagittarius. All right, let's see what spirit has for you, Sagittarius. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, for those Zodiac crystals that I was showing you, I do have Green Aventurine, Rose Quartz, Tiger's Eye, Black Agate, and Red Jasper. And it's on my online store, along with some other things that I have made. Alright, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have from my Sagittarius babies? I love it when cards just pop out. They're like, hey, hi. We do have the Five of Swords. We have the Seven of Cups. The Justice card, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. We're going to pull one more. Queen of Cups. All right, so what I'm seeing here is you might be at that crossroads with truth as to you're finding things out. Um, it's almost like do you want to go forward or you're wanting to go forward, but you're still looking over your shoulder. Like, I know I'm leaving my comfort zone and do I want to leave my comfort zone? I feel like you are at that crossroads of, um, I want to leave my, my comfort zone, but how am I going to leave my comfort zone? With the seven of cups, it's about you weighing your options of how you're going to do this. I think you're trying to do a lot on your own, Sagittarius. Um, with the Justice card, I feel like you're trying to balance things out. Some of you uh, could be in a legal matter um, where the justice is going to be in your favor. Some of you could be waiting on somebody to get out of a legal matter. Um, you know, this could be a divorce, selling of a house, whatever, you know, something with documents. But... You know, um, you could be waiting on that before you go forward. But it's still you trying to find justice and trying to balance things out. Some of you could be, you know, trying to heal from some things and you're trying to get justice for that. Trying to uh, get justice for those who have done you wrong. Or you're, you know, you're holding on to that, trying to balance that out. With the Nine of Swords, um, I feel like you are all in your head about it. You do want to grow. You do want to go forward. I do feel as if it, uh, you're feeling a bit of a heavy weight off of it. Keep in mind that the Nine of Swords is simply, um, and I hate to say it like this because I'm not discrediting what you feel at all, but Nine of Swords is all about it, uh, mountain 
being made out of a molehill. So it's like it's all in your head. You're all in your feelings about it. But you can move on from this. With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like either you're being giving to somebody else or somebody's trying to be giving to you. You know, I do feel like that there is a person who, with the Six of Pentacles, they have been trying to be giving to you. Um, they've been trying to be there, trying to be grounding for you. Um, with the Queen of Cups, this could be your energy. Um... This could be your energy of trying to show this person that I do want your help. I do appreciate you. I do want to uh, go forward with this. I do have emotions with this. And I'm. it's coming to a head and I want to deal with this. I feel like this could be something that you're really, really emotion. You know, you have a lot of emotion into it. You have a lot of feeling behind it of you wanting to heal, go forward and uh trying to get past certain things you know um i do feel like uh, you are getting prosperity and abundance in that department it's just that you have to take you have to take the chance while you have it you know and the thing is is that i do feel as if uh you do have that support system but the question is, do you want to heal and are you going to commit to healing yourself? And that's the whole thing behind that. And I think it kind of scares you a little bit with the five of swords here because you want to go forward, but you keep looking back like over your shoulder as to being unsure about how you want to proceed and how you're going to do it you are definitely trying to find that balance in there. But I also do feel like you're taking it all upon yourself. And I don't think that you have the proper support system, or at least you don't feel like you have the proper support system. You know that there are certain things missing by what you surround yourself with. But don't turn your back on that Six of Pentacles. Don't turn your back on that support system that's trying to be there for you. You know, um... This Queen of Cups, somebody wanting to offer you love, somebody wanting to give you uh, support, love, and be nourishing and help you grow. Um, you know, this could be something that you're having a hard time trusting. But that's going to be up to you. You know, look at the things that you normally trust. <laughs> And the thing is, Sagittarius, you're actually really, really... Um, you are a very intuitive sign. So it's like when you put your trust into something, you know what you're trusting. Even if something seems off to you, you're like, eh, I'm just going to go ahead and bypass that. I'm going to do it anyway. But look at how you act when something is actually genuine. So, you know, you're not giving that the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> So it's like you growing and realizing that you can actually heal and, um, you know, let that ego sit down for a little bit and accept the good things that are coming into your life. It's really important that you allow things to come in good for your life because if you keep holding on to this negative stuff, it's going to, it's going to, um, you know, it can turn bad to like your health even you know it can it can internalize to where it starts destroying your body and it can turn into you know health issues and things like that I feel like you are holding on to a lot you have been for a while and you know um basically if you're going to heal you're going to have to learn to heal from the inside out and watch how things get better once you start healing the inside, um, it'll get better for your physical as well. But you have to allow that and allow people who can help you, allow them to help you, allow them to be your support system. But that's going to be entirely up to you. I'm sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Leo. All right.
looking to see. Okay. Hello, Leo. Hold on a second. I'm going to go grab my charger and then I will be right back. It'll only be like literally one second for you. All right, Leo. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. So I was like at 20 something percent and I was like, yeah, this isn't when I first started, it was like at 30 something percent. And so I was like, yeah, I can do this. But then I got done with Sagittarius and I looked and it's like, it dropped like 10% just by that one. And I'm like, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go grab the charger real quick because I do not want this to go when I'm in the middle of reading. All right, so let's see what we have going on for the Leos. Um, Leo, take what resonates, leave the rest. And these Zodiac crystals that I have, um, they are on my uh, on my um, online store. I have green aventurine, black agate, um, red jasper, tiger's eye, and rose quartz. And um, they are on my online shop along with some other things if you want to go take a look. And... see what spirit has for you today you know what we're gonna do it so we do have the king of cups you could be getting some love coming in here we have the Ace of Pentacles, that stable, grounding, foundational start. Some of you could be starting something new, something that you love, or this could be love coming in. Um, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Five of Cups, the Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Lovers, Six of Pentacles, the Sun, Six of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Hanged Man. All right, so this kind of happened for you yesterday, too. <laughs> like, everything came out for you. So, there could be some kind of love offer, some kind of new stable beginning. Maybe you had some talks, um, things like that. Some truth aired itself out. You felt like you were going in a new direction or a good direction. Um... You know, with the Five of Cups, it's a sense of ensure, you know, I don't know if I want to move on with this energy or do I want to stay where I'm at right now. So some of you could be getting some kind of love offer, but you're trying to decide, do I want to stay single or do I want to go with this energy? Um, either way, you're trying to decide what you want to do for yourself. Um, having the Nine of Cups... You are feeling like you are ind independent. You are feeling like you are in the zone um, when it comes to your own energy. And you don't know if you want to give it up. Having the Knight of Swords is you seeking the truth. You coming in and seeking the truth of how you want to do things. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but you don't have to be. When it comes to the Lover's card, um, you know, with the Six of Pentacles... This person could be very giving. They could be, hey, let me show you why I'm an asset to be in your life. Um, you know, you could be um, getting gifts right now. Um, somebody just really letting you know that they want to be there in your life. With the sun, of course, it's going to make you feel good, you know. But here's the question. With the Six of Cups, you could be trying to reconcile with this person, or you could be thinking about reconciling with this person with the Six of Swords. It's like you're really thinking about it. Keep in mind, it's kind of sort of turning into a love reading, but this does not have to be about love. This could be about a situation, a family member, a friend within yourself. You know, just take it how it resonates for you. So when it comes to the Six of Cups, you know, you're wanting to kind of reconcile and heal a certain thing. When it comes to the Six of Swords, you know, it, it's like you are 
um, kind of standing there on a little defensive, but it's like a, um, it's really like a transition that you're going to be going through, you know, like you're going to be moving forward with this. The hanged man is just trying to figure out how. How are you going to uh, implement this in your life? How how are you going to make this work? Um, for some of you, you could be uh, redoing like your whole life to make this, you know, come together. There's always sacrifice. So with the hanged man, you're trying to figure out um, what those sacrifices are going to be. So, and this could be for you or, you know, just like laying down the boundary foundation for this connection to work so that's what i have for you today leo which is a lot but you're going through you know you're you're handling it you are definitely handling it i'm sending you all kinds of love light healing and protection and we are going to go on to aries hi aries all right so aries take what resonates leave the rest um that a zodiac crystal that you just saw i have it on my online store um the one that you just saw is green of entering i also have black agate red jasper rose quartz and tiger's eye and i also have some other things on my online store i also do pendulums and all that good stuff so if you want to go take a look the link is down below all right spirit What lovely messages do you have for my Aries babies today? All right, we do have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with another fire sign, but you don't have to be. This very well could be you. We also have the Knight of Cups, which is uh, which is a small token of love and support. We do have the Four of Wands where you're just kind of standing down a little bit. The Hermit. Yeah, the Death card. So, and then the Temperance. You are definitely trying to find patience in a situation. I feel like the King of Wands is all you. You're trying to stand and stay strong and staying focused. I feel like you are trying to be the everything not just to yourself but to others around you i feel like um you're showing that i think on the surface you're trying to show that you have motivation that you're trying to um they're just on the outside you're trying to show that you're everything you got this so it's like you're trying to show people, yeah, I got this. Yeah, this is great. I got this. I'm I'm perfect for this job. But really underneath, you're kind of tired. With the Four of Swords, you're kind of retracting back. Um, mentally, you might be dissociating yourself. You might be um, pulling back mentally. I do feel like that you have some kind of very loving support coming in. Um, offering you support of, hey... You know, I'm here. It's almost like a I'm here if you need me type thing. The Hermit card, you could be dealing with a Virgo, but you don't have to be. Um, the Hermit card, I feel, is you. Because with the Four of Swords, you know, you're trying to be, trying to retract back. With the Hermit card, you know, it's just like you're pulling within yourself. Um, I do feel like you are seeing certain things with this Death card. Um... You're seeing some things come to light. And it's the ending of cycles. There's so many endings to so many cycles lately. You're having a rebirth. And you're having patience in this rebirth. You know that it's coming. You know that there are things that need to be done. And you're trying to have patience in balancing it out and healing from it. And trying to bring it together. So... I'm glad that you have the small token of support. It's almost like the Knight of Cups is almost like, hey, I'm here if you need me. But I'm just going to stay back over here until you do. 
So, you know, I do feel like that you are trying to do this mainly on your own, but it just feels good to have that support right there. And, you know, you are definitely trying to balance things out on your own and put the work in for yourself. The thing is, is that, you know, Aries, try not to burn yourself out. Make sure you're taking some rest and relaxation when you need to. Not just from, you know, I almost feel like you have to perform for other people to make them believe that you're okay. But really, on the inside, you're not really okay. And you might be... um you know, like retracting back a lot. You're saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. But really it's not, you know? So just make sure that you're taking the time to give yourself that self-love of, this is how I'm feeling, this is how I'm dealing with stuff. And, you know, um, this is just really for what it is and what's going on. Make sure you have that support system where you can be your real self and you can feel safe in doing so. So that's what I have for you today. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Earth Signs. Hello, Taurus. All right, Taurus. So... Green Aventurine with your Zodiac sign, Red Jasper, Black Agate, Rose Quartz, and Tiger's Eye is all on my online shop if you're interested in purchasing one. There are other things that I have on my online shop if you are interested in those. Um, feel free to go take a look. When it comes to your reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. Taurus. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Taurus babies? Alright, we have the Lovers, the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Swords. I do feel like that you are, you are wanting some kind of reconciliation with somebody. You could be dealing with somebody right now. Um, with the Lovers card, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to be. Um... Yeah, I'm going to pull one more spirit. So the page of Pentacles is you trying to, you're either boggling down on work or you're trying to study something um, in order to make your next move. But you have the lovers on your mind. I feel like you're trying to retract back from whatever it is that you're feeling and whatever it is that you're going through. Um the Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo, but you don't have to be. Um, I see everything in here but fire. Hmm. So, I do feel like you have a connection that's on your mind. You have a connection that you want to build. Keep in mind the lovers doesn't have to mean lovers. That It can also mean self-healing within yourself. It can be a friend, family member. I hate using family members as the lover's card, but it could be just somebody and something or a situation that you love. It could be anything. Just take it how it resonates for you. You're going to know what it is. With the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you're not trying to look at it, this connection. Head is down in the books. I feel like you could be um, focusing on work or building up your money. Um, but you're looking at everything except this connection. With the Ten of Swords, it feels heavy. It feels like you're... Um, you, you feel like somebody might have turned their back on you or you could have turned your back on somebody else, but you're feeling 
you're feeling it. And you may not be talking about it. You may not be um, letting it be known. on how you're feeling. But really deep down with the Six of Cups, you want this healing to take place. Now this healing is either within yourself or the healing is with this other person. And this other person could be your past. The Six of Cups is also a reminder for you not to live in the past. So if there is a certain behavior that keeps popping up this is a reminder to stop acting out of the behaviors that you've done in the past. In order to get change, you have to do different things. With the Queen of Cups, this could be you wanting to give, but this could be also a connection that wants to give to you. You know, they may want to... Um, the Queen of Cups is all about, I'll give you my love, and I'll have no problem giving you my love. But there are going to be boundaries, and there is going to be respect. And the thing is, Taurus, is that if that's not being met, the Queen of Cups is going to bail. If you're going to show that there's no interest, if you're going to go into hermit mode... You're, I mean, deep down, you want this healing to take place. Deep down, you want this connection. But these three cards show that you're retracting inward. And if you're retracting inward and you're not making the Queen of Cups feel like they even have a place in your life, then they're not going to continue to give you um, they're not going to let you be like an energy vampire, dare I say. You know, they're not going to, they're not going to let you get away with it. The Queen of Cups has worth that she knows, and this is not gender specific, but the Queen of Cups knows what her love is worth. And she's not going to stand by and just take any kind of behavior. So if you're acting disinterested... The Queen of Cups is not going to be sticking around for you. The Queen of Cups doesn't deal with fucked up behavior like that. But I do feel like you're pulling within yourself and there's some feelings behind that. But the Hermit card, I do feel like since you are facing the Queen of Cups, you could be going into self-reflection as to, okay, what's missing here? What do I need to do that's different? If you really want this Queen of Cups... Or if you want, if you really do want this love, you could have it. It's just that you have to uh, be self accountable and realize, okay, what do I want in a relationship? And can I be what it is that I want in that relationship? Now, see, this could be any relationship. Like I said, this could be anything that you love. And for those of you that are married, this could be you reconnecting in your marriage. But if you want this Queen of Cups and you want the love to go well, then you have to start looking from within and being like, what is it that I need to do better in order to make this connection better and to let this Queen of Cups know that I am in it to win it. And, you know, it's not about you having to sacrifice and dance around on the skillet and entertain or anything like that. You just have to be real. You have to be interested. You have to be connected and you have to be committed to getting to know them and allowing them to get to know you. And, you know, um, having understanding, compassion, all that stuff. Everything you want in a relationship, you have to be prepared to give it as well. So, that's what I have for you today, Taurus. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Virgo. Hello, Virgo, my lovely Virgos. I'm a Virgo. 
those of you that are new, I am a Virgo. So that green of entering I just showed you with your zodiac sign that is in my online store. Um, along with rose quartz, black agate, tiger's eye, and red jasper. And I will be listing more later. When it comes to your reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. I also have other things on my Etsy store, my online store. Um, it is through Etsy, by the way. Um, I do pendulums. I do artwork. I do a lot of stuff. You might want to go take a look. All right, Spirit, what do we have for my Virgo babies? We have the Strength card. You are building up strength. I feel like maybe the past week you've been beat down a lot. We have the Two of Cups, heart to heart. Now, you could be having this heart to heart within yourself where this could be coming up. We have the Ten of Swords and we have the Nine of Pentacles. You feel the weight on this, Virgo. You feel the weight on this. We have the Emperor and we have the Wheel of Fortune. I think this reading is a big old fat reminder to trust the process and it's going to suck. You know, um, I do feel like we have been building up our strength and everything already. Um, we've been building up strength and courage, especially in the self-love department. Um, for those of you who are in a happy relationship and for those of you who are married, this could just be you um, leveling up, like even within the relationship. For those of you who are single, you're still leveling up on an individual situation. Um, but you're building courage, you're building strength, you are wanting to go forward. The Two of Cups, you are wanting to have a connection with somebody. You're wanting to talk things out. You're wanting to see where it goes, see where it leads. The thing is, is that there could have been something that happened that's very heavy on you, where you felt like you were deceived. The information that you get from this Two of Cups, you may feel like you were deceived. You may feel like you were lied to. You may feel like, why did you withhold this information from me? It could be something that just rips you apart. But the thing is, is that in order for you to go forward, you, you needed to know this. And it rips you apart temporarily. Where you get back up, you pull the swords out, and it's like, okay, Nine of Pentacles, now... Let me see how I can get this to, to grow. Now let me see how I can make this stable. Um, not just within myself, but within the connection. You know, um, I feel like there could be a person reaching out to you, uh, finding the courage to reach out to you, to tell you what's going on with them. Um, and you don't know what they're going to tell you. It's just, it, it might floor you. With the Nine of Pentacles, though, like I said, it, it's a sense of a card of a wish fulfillment card. Um, I also feel like this could signify that you have been working hard towards a connection and really wanting a connection. And this could be you being really, really tired of putting the work in. And so you could have let it go and started focusing on yourself. And then you started, you know, um, it's a wish fulfillment card. You know, it's a glow up card of you putting the work in. You have almost everything that you want. You are almost there. And you just got a little bit more to go. And it's you being patient with it. The emperor could be coming in after you, you know, decided to uh, let things go. Let it go and let it flow. Let it flow. Let that shit go. <laughs> the Emperor uh, could possibly be popping up. Could be an Aries. Doesn't have to be. But somebody who is very structured knows what they want and they're going to go for it. With the Wheel of Fortune, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is really making you remember that there is a process. 
You have to follow the process. You have to trust the process. No matter how fucked up it feels, trust the process and know that it's for your greater good. And that wheel is going to continuously spin. And you don't know what good things is going to pop out. You don't know what's going to happen. This is a reminder that you still don't know what's going to happen. But it's taking that chance on stuff. Taking a chance on things is what keeps the wheel of fortune going. You know, releasing what is no longer for you and, you know, taking in what is good for you is what keeps the wheel of fortune going. And you may not know the outcome of things, but if you have good faith and knowing that it's for your greater good and you know that you're going to learn something from it or you know it needs to be in your pathway for a reason, that wheel of fortune is going to keep spinning for you, Virgo. It comes out all the time. That in the Fool card, and the Fool's card, it comes out for you all the time. You just got to get through some more. And you're doing wonderful. You take, it's like you take things and you just, all right, let me dissect it. Let me see what I, what do I need to do to go forward? What do I need to do to, you know, keep things going? So... You know, this is uh, this is actually a really good reading. The only card I don't like is that Ten of Swords. But in order to have a rebirth, you have to shed. You know, you have to be that phoenix. All right, that's what I have for you today, Virgo. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Capricorn. Hi Capricorn. This is Green Aventurine that is on my online store. I also have Black Agate, Red Jasper, Tiger's Eye, and Rose Quartz if you're interested in those. And also some other things. I make pendulums and I hand make my stuff. So. And what else? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit. If it doesn't fit, it just doesn't. All right, spirit. What lovely messages do you have for my Capricorn babies? And also my online store. The link is down below in the description box. We have the five or the four of cups. All right. So you are in the tower. Okay. So you're looking at three spilt cups and you're not looking at the one that is still full. So you could be feeling as if somebody is crossing your boundaries or somebody's like really pressing you, um, testing you right now. Um, you may feel like somebody's taking your love for granted, um, taking your emotions. You don't know what to do about this. Like you really don't know what to do about this. I feel like you're having the tower moment out of frustration. Um, I feel like somebody took advantage or they took you for granted in some way. And you're just like, I can't keep dealing with this shit. I, I feel like that you got, you went from being uh, sad about it to just being highly fucking irritated. Like, how dare you? And then the tower moment happened, you know, for you to rebuild. I feel like that the tower moment was really quick. You felt your feelings and now you're right on it. You're right back on it with the seven of swords of building it back up, you know, um, you felt, you feel like you were betrayed. You feel like you were betrayed. You feel like somebody took something from you. You feel like you were betrayed. You feel like somebody stole something from you. And it was somebody that you were holding in a high regard. The reason why I say that is because if you look at this, it's holding the cat, you know, like in a high regard. So this is somebody that you felt was, you know, you probably were like, I can't believe this person did this to me. Some things haven't come to the light for you on how you're going to deal with it. You know, the, this this might not even 
be something that you're ever going to understand though. To understand why other people do things Capricorn, it's hard to understand why people do things. And this is what could leave you being hung up right now, you know, with the hanged man. So it's like, I feel like in, in the moonlight, you're trying to search for the answer of why did they do this? Why did they feel like I deserve this? Um, why? It's like you're searching for the why. The thing is, is that you're not going to get that why. You're also searching with how you're going to move on from this and not see them in a different light. I feel like you, you kind of wish that you could go forward and see them in the same light that you held them before, but you're not going to. I feel like the reason why you're hung up is because you're not wanting to... Um, you, you're going to be unraveling some things, but you could be stopping the, the process because if it's a person that you really, really love, you don't want to see them in a bad light. So, it, but the thing is, is that, you know, you could be turning a blind eye to this entire thing or trying to make excuses for them on what they did when really it's not okay. But it could be hanging you up a little bit because you, you do care. You do want to go forward. You do want to, um, you want things to be good. But it's like, can you really overlook this is the question. You know, with the moon card, it just means that things haven't been brought out into the daylight. You know, you're kind of searching and tapping your way around. But really, deep down, you know what's going on. And you might be just turning that blind eye to things of, yeah, I don't want to see it. But the Wheel of Fortune, you know, technically the Wheel of Fortune, you know, is something that keeps spinning once you keep the process down. But in this, you keep the process in mind of, you know, things have a process and trust the process, right? But in this, in this case, I feel like, you are trying, whatever it is that somebody did to you, you're trying to turn a blind eye to it and you're just kind of stopping it right there because the Wheel of Fortune is right here. And so it's like, I'm going to try to still see the good in this person. And I feel like that you are taking what they did. You know what they did, but in your mind, you're protecting the underdog. And I'm still going to see the good in this person. But you need to watch out for this person, to be honest. Because if somebody's taking advantage of your kindness or somebody's taking advantage of your boundaries or anything like that, you know, it's a sense of watch, watch the energy that you are around. Watch the energy that you're around and make sure that they are for your greater good. And, you know, just because you want this person around, you might... Um, You might have a link to them. You might be in love with them. You might have love for them. Um, this could be a child. This could be um, somebody that, you know, you've had in your life for a long time. It could be a sibling. And so it's like that sense of, oh, it's okay that they did that because, you know, they are a family member or something like that. And so I feel like you're trying to find the good in them so you can keep them around. Um, but for some of you, you're not going to tolerate this. And you're going to see the good in them, but you're going to move on to what's good for you. You know, um, and not being taken for granted and not being, uh, you're, you know, for some of you, you're going to place the boundary down and you're going to place it down strong. Once you get past this part. So that's what I have for you today, Capricorn. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to air signs. Hi, Gemini. This is Green of Entering. It's on my online store, along with Black Agate, Rose Quartz, Tiger's Eye, and Red Jasper. If you're interested, the link is down below. Um, 
and also take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Gemini babies for today? We have the Magician, the Ace of Cups. Look at you manifesting your new beginning. The Six of Swords, essentially you are moving on to different things. Eight of Pentacles, you're working hard and you are reaping those benefits. I see some good shit here, Gemini. Keep it coming, keep it coming. The Emperor, or the Empress, I mean. All right, so you do have somebody in mind that is your Empress. I feel like you're your magician. You're the magician. Okay, and I feel like you are manifesting something in your life. I don't want to say that you're manifesting someone. You could be manifesting somebody that you consider the Empress. The Empress is all queens all up in one. They are the everything. They are the padau. They are the total package. They are everything that you would want in a person. Um, there we go. Three of Wands. So, I see you manifesting. You're manifesting this and you're working hard on this manifestation. So I feel like that you are um, kind of pulling within and you are trying to manifest some shit in your life and it's a connection. Ace of Cups is a beginning new start in love and affection and emotions. The Six of Swords, I feel like you are moving on from your past and at least looking forward. You may not be moving just yet, but you're looking forward to this. The reason why I say you're not moving just yet is because I think you're still in the manifestation period of, let me see what I want on this platter. Um, with the eight of pentacles, you're willing to put the work in, you're willing to focus on it. And it's like, you know, that you have work to do in order to get this connection going, but you want the empress and the empress is looking forward ahead. The three of wands is you could be collaborating within yourself. You could be doing research. You could be talking to other people in order to get how you're going to make this happen. I feel like that the three of wands sometimes is a stagnant card of, I'm just going to stop it right here and I'm going to focus on other things, but I really feel like you're stopping it so you could do further research. I feel like that you, you have your motivation to go. And I do feel like, um, you are looking to expand your knowledge and, you know, move forward with this. I, I feel like you are definitely going to do that for yourself. This is a really, really, really good reading, Gemini. I'm impressed. It takes a lot to impress me. I'm impressed. I'm glad that you're getting out of your head a little bit and you are, you know, you're expanding things in different ways. Um, yeah, you're definitely pulling your head out. I think that's great. That's great. So I feel like, I don't feel like you're manifesting a person though. I think you're manifesting an energy. You could be manifesting a person. Like, like I said, you might be looking at a person and being like, that's them. I'm going to manifest them into my life. I don't feel like this is a person that's already in your life though. Hmm. I feel like you have an idea of it. And the reason why I say that I feel like you have an idea of it is because you know, with the three of wands, I feel like, I feel like you're asking outside sources for opinions possibly and moving forward. Hmm. Huh. 
This could be somebody at your work as well, you know, with the pentacles. So you could be working closely with this person, but not letting them know that you are um, working towards them or you're working towards manifesting them into your life. So. Hmm. Still some good shit. You're still um, manifesting good energies into your life. That's what I have for you today, Gemini. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, hey. All right, so that is green aventurine. It's on my online store along with black agate, rose quartz, tiger's eye, and red jasper. And I also make pendulums and I paint stuff. You might want to just go take a look. And the link is down below in the description box. Take this how it resonates and leave the rest. We're going to find out what spirit has for you today, Aquarius. We have the High Priest. We have the Five of Cups. So you could be dealing with a person or you are the person listening to the higher intuition, bringing things to life, wanting to go forward um, bringing light into a situation. The five of cups is a sense of despair. Um, you could be feeling as if you're leaving things behind and you might feel bad about it. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's for your own growth. With the four of swords, I feel like you're kind of retracting back a little bit. You could be holding things to yourself. Like, if you feel like there's an energy that might be draining, you might be holding information back because you're growing without them. And so, you're not wanting to say much. Like, you don't want to hear their mouth. <laughs> and you don't want to hear them stop you. You know, like, it's almost like a sense of, I don't want them to stop me, so I'm just not going to say anything. You know, one of those friends that they always have to naysay something. And so it's like when you have some good news, they're like, oh, well, you could have done it like this. Instead of just saying congratulations, good job, they want, they want to naysay. Sorry, I have the hiccups. But I do feel like you are trying to bring things into your own life. And I feel like you're kind of on the hush-hush about it. Because of people who could be feeling some kind of way about you moving on. This Five of Cups, I don't feel like you feel bad, per se. I think it's more them feeling bad that you're moving on without them. But I feel like you're more of this Four of Swords that is like, you know what? I know you're going to feel bad, so I'm just not going to tell you about it because I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. We have the Strength card. You have the Strength to move forward. We have the two of wands and the two of swords. So you have the motivation to move forward with things that you desire, things that you want to bring into your life. So you are, you know, you're wanting to face those pathways and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm really figuring out where I want to go and what direction I want to go in with my life. With the two of swords, I, I see that as you listening to your higher self, you're listening to your intuition. You are, you know, you're like, I'm going to trust the process and I'm going to keep growing in this way. But it's almost like you have a person that is waiting there. Now, this could be a friend. This could be an ex. So this could be a parent. This could be somebody who does not give you encouragement. Somebody who is just, um, they might be underlying jealous about your growth. And so you might not be giving them all the information because you don't want them to uh, say anything negative in a way. Bottom card energy, king of swords. 
So you could be dealing with another air sign, but you don't have to be. But this person could be cutting you down. <laughs> As you grow, they might be cutting you down in ways that they might be... Um, putting little things in your head or putting little things in your mind to try to discourage you from your from your uh, strength. They might be trying to take you out of your strength. And you recognize this though. I feel like you are tapping into your intuition that you recognize this. And so you're like not even trying to set yourself up. So it's like, I just won't tell this person shit. I won't tell them anything. But I'm going to continue to build my strength up and I'm going to continue with my path and I'm just not going to tell them. <laughs> Don't tell them anything, Aquarius. You keep doing what you're doing. So that's what I have for you today. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. And I am going to go on to Libra. Hello, Libra. This is Green of Entering. I have it in my online store if you're interested in purchasing it. I also have Red Jasper, Black Agate, Rose Quartz, and Tiger's Eye. I'll be listing more probably later today. And what else? Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Libra babies? We're going to take all these. So we have the Four of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Fool's card. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. There is definitely something that you are moving on from a Libra. And you're wanting to take a chance. Um, the Three of Wands. So with the Four of Wands, you're just kind of sitting back. Um, you're kind of sitting back in your Wands energy. You don't really have motivation to do anything. Wheel of Fortune is on the bottom card uh, energy bottom deck energy which tells you trust the process try not to be in your head and trust the process but with the four of wands you know it's a sense of you kind of relaxing back you're not really motivated to do anything really um you could be feeling as if you um you want to celebrate in a way um, some kind of connection, like a relaxed connection, you know, like, how should I put this? Go into a party. You want to have fun, you know, like you're not trying to hold on to anything that's bad. So it's, it's like you're in a relaxed state. It's just one of those days that is a really nice free flowing day and you're not really motivated to do anything. You're not pressing yourself to do anything. It's like you want to have fun with people. You want to connect with people, you know, and you just kind of want to do your own thing. We have the Knight of Swords here. The Knight of Swords comes in and is, you know, um, you might be having some ideas coming to light. You know, there could be something opening up here. By you kind of chilling back and being relaxed, it could open up a whole new door where maybe you were trying to find an answer to something and all of a sudden it just flowed in, you know, and it cleared your way. And you're like, hold up, let me jump up and take a chance. And let me, you know, I'm doing this fool's card here. I'm taking a chance and I'm not going to worry about things and... I'm just going to go forward and I'm trusting the process. There's the Wheel of Fortune. You're trusting the process of going forward. But the Knight of Pentacles, you know, you are looking at finances. You are looking at stability. You could be looking at inner stability. You could be looking at um, making yourself feel safe and your environment feel safe. We do have the Nine of Wands here, which, you know, is a sense of growth. It's a sense of... Um, look at what I've accomplished so far. I feel like that you are like in a glow up area where you are recognizing what you have accomplished. You are recognizing the positive things you have done. The three of wands is 
you know, you wanting to go more forward and even do more things. So there's something that's coming up today that, or it could be coming up in the near future that you are realizing that you're really not as bad as what you think. <laughs> you know, like you are looking at what you have accomplished. You are looking at what you have, um, you know, done within your life. With this Knight of Pentacles, this could be another energy coming in to remind you what you have done in your life. And you're just kind of soaking it up and you're realizing, hey, you know what? This Knight of Pentacles is right. Could be an earth sign, doesn't have to be. But somebody could be popping in and being like, hey, don't beat yourself up so much, you know, like you usually do. And realize you have done this, you have done that, and you have done some positive shit. And you know, and just encouraging you, you know, this is a stable energy that is very grounding when you need it in your life. With the Eight of Cups, you could be taking this reminder, knowing more what you need to cut out of your life so you can welcome in the good. You know, certain things that we need to cut out of our life, Libra, and this is with everybody, Cutting out past self-sabotaging behaviors. And sometimes that goes along with beating ourselves up over shit we have done. And not taking the time to understand that. You know, making sure that you're going through some kind of self-healing. And I, real, I, I feel like you're realizing some things today. Um, and it's, it's actually a really good movement. I see a lot of movement in these cards of some kind of epiphany coming up and you're like, Hey, yep, I'm going to go with this. And this could be a self healing journey. This could be with business. This could be with love. This is with whatever it resonates with you, but you're deciding to move on from what no longer serves you. And that could also be the way you think about yourself. If the way you think about yourself no longer serves you, it's time for you to find a new way of thinking. So that's what I have for you today, Libra. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to water signs. Hi, Scorpio. This is Green Adventuring. I have it on my online store. And I also have Red Jasper, Black Agate, Tiger's Eye, and Rose Quartz if you're interested in those. And I will also be loading up some others today. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my lovely Scorpio babies? I have Scorpio friends that love to hate me. You know, it is what it is. I love you guys. see what do we have for today what do we have for Scorpio today spirit we have the justice card some of you could be going through a legal matter you don't have to be but you're finding you're getting justice for something We have the Page of Wands, which could be a very immature energy, or it could just be an energy of fun, um, a spark of an idea, something for you to go forward with. Uh, you are you are definitely trying to balance some things out and moving forward. This is literally a spark that gets you going, though. The Page of Wands. It's like a spark of an idea. With the temperance card, you could be having patience and knowing that you need to balance. It's more balancing. Trying to balance things out. Trying to see what it is that you need and what you don't need in your life. With the Eight of Wands, this tells me that you could have some fast incoming information. It could be a message from somebody or it could just be movement in general. You know, like... You're balancing things out, and then once you balance something out and you see the idea, you're just going for it. I felt this with your reading yesterday. Um, when I did your TikTok reading yesterday, it's like you want it to move from A to Z without the letters in the middle. 
and we have the Fool's card. So there is something that you're wanting to take a chance on and going forward. The only thing I can say about this is make sure that you're doing what you need to do and thinking things through before the movement. And we have the Lover's card. So this could be about you wanting to take a chance on love again. Or something that you love. Something that could be risky. You know, um, it could be something that's risky. And you're trying to balance it out within yourself. You could be dealing with the Gemini, but you don't have to be. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. I don't know what the Fool's card is. <laughs> I need to get better. I need to make a cheat sheet on the uh, the Zodiac signs, but it could also be a Libra. It doesn't have to be. So I see everything in here except for Earth. Unless the, the Fool is Earth, I don't know. Could be, maybe not. But I don't think it is. Nope. But the point that I'm getting at, though, is um, you do have something that you want to go for and you want to go for it quick. But it could be risky. And make sure that you're thinking it through. It's okay to be the fool and take that chance. Okay? And it's good for you to do that movement. But make sure you're you're spending time and balancing it out and seeing what it is before you make those jumps. And, you know, I feel like, you know, you may not be doing that. It may be feeling so good to you in the moment that you're not you're just like, nah. I'm just gonna go in for it and I'm not gonna think about it too hard. But here's the thing. We have the Ace of Pentacles right here. So it could be a very, very good risk. So for some of you, this is a financial risk. Some of you might be doing investments. And you could be thinking about taking this risk, trying to balance things out. You know, like I'm picturing you balancing out accounting stuff. You know, but this could also be within a relationship. So, and the thing is, is that some of you might love investing. Like, this could be the love of your life. You know what I mean? So, it's like, taking that risk is going to be something that, according to Tarot, is going to pay off. Don't hold me to that. I don't know. But the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning in finance and it's a new beginning in prosperity and abundance and things coming to you um, abundantly. So that's what I have for you today, Scorpio. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Pisces. Hi, Pisces. This is Green of Entering. It's on my online store along with Rose Quartz, Black Agate, Tiger's Eye, and Red Jasper. If you're interested in any of those. Ugh, that was an ugly shuffle. If you're interested in any of those, uh, the link is down below. Also, take what resonates and leave the rest. Alright, Spirit. What lovely messages do you have for my Gemini babies? The Wheel of Fortune has been coming out in a lot of Zodiacs today. It's the trust the process card, man. Trusting that process, sometimes it's the hardest thing. We have the devil, the three of swords, king of cups, the chariot. Some of you could be dealing with another water sign, but it could be you. Um, I feel like you're trying to process, you're trying to trust the process when it comes to a certain connection. The devil could be on the page of swords, um, collecting information. I feel like when it comes to the devil, you could be doing some um, self-sabotaging behavior or you could be connected to somebody um, 
I think the devil is Capricorn too. Can't remember if the devil is Capricorn or if it's Scorpio. I think it's Capricorn, but I'm not for sure. But you're trying to trust the process in something when it comes to some kind of relationship that has been um, a bit sabotaging. Um, so it's like... Um, You could be realizing a lot of things about this connection, good and bad. With the Three of Swords, I do feel like you are trying to heal from a certain heartbreak, from a certain trauma, from a certain disappointment when it comes to this connection. You're trying to see the good in this connection, but it's hard for you to because you're trying to heal from it. I feel like that you are trying to move on from it and you are trying to heal from it. With the King of Cups, that is you definitely being in your own heart, wanting to keep your own love in healing. With the Chariot, it's you uh, wanting to go forward. You have things balanced out. You're trying to get to the finish line. And I feel like what you're trying to get the, to the finish line on is this healed area like you want to be healed with this connection with the page of swords it's all about gathering truth holding your boundaries you're not making any movements yet but you're gathering information like you're letting it be known okay you're here i i have my swords i could cut you if i want to it's almost like a sense of you want to show that you are healed. You want to show that you have boundaries. You want to show, you want to be able to show them your love, that you, you have evolved and that you are a better person from this heartbreak is how I'm looking at it. And you're more than eager to do it. You're more than eager to show them your growth. And you're more than eager to show them that you're not the same person that you used to be. And how much you have grown from this whole situation. As painful as it was, you want to show that you have grown. It's almost like you want to show them your homework and that you got an A. And they can't, uh, they can't get to you the way that they used to type of feeling. It's like, I'm still here for you, but I'm standing my ground. So I feel like that you are really showing your boundaries and how certain people are not going to be able to penetrate those boundaries anymore, no matter how hard they try. So that's what I have for you today, Pisces. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. We're going to move on to Cancer's. Hi, Cancers. This is Green Aventurine. It's on my online store. And I also have Rose Quartz, Black Agate, Tiger's Eye, and Red Jasper if you're interested in those. The link is down below. And take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Spirit. What do you have for my cancer babies? All right, spirit, what do we have for my cancer babies for today? We have the Knight of Swords. We got some truth that's cutting in. And it's going to save the day on some things. I feel like truth is coming up. It could be within yourself. It could be within a connection. It could be about a certain situation. It could be about a job. Just some kind of knowledge is coming in for you. It's some kind of truth. It's going to help you with your journey and your direction. There we go. All right. 
so we have the five of cups of you trying to know i think you know what direction you need to go in but it's not really one that you want to go in yeah i got the two of cups and the ten of wands yep yeah. so we have the knight of swords the five of cups the seven of wands the two of swords the Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. So, there is a connection here where you know that you need to move on from it. You know that you have, you're holding some truth. And it's like, now that I know, I can't not know. You know, now that I've seen it, I can't unsee this type of vibe. And with the Five of Cups, it's like, damn it, if only I hadn't seen this. It's almost like you want to keep this connection, but you can't because of what you have seen, because of what you have witnessed. With the Seven of Wands, it's a sense of, um, you know, it's a sense of, Being like a, you're being defensive. I've been using that word a lot. I'm trying to find different words to use for certain cards. But it's almost like you're trying to defend yourself from further damage. There you go. You're trying to defend yourself from further damage. And with the Two of Swords, it's like you're at that indecision of they've done damage. Do I keep them in my life? Do I not keep them in my life? Deep down, you know you shouldn't be keeping them in your life. Now, what you actually do with it, I don't know. That's going to be up to you. But what I do know is that you have like a passion or a desire for this connection. You want a new beginning with this connection. You want a new beginning uh, with this person. We have the Two of Cups where you connect on a lot of different levels, but there's something that you found out that you just cannot go. You can't go there. And you know that you can't go there. But the Ten of Wands, I feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. Where you're like, uh, man, why do I have to have this connection? Because I can't go anywhere with it. It's way too heavy. I can't carry this by myself. You know, there's a sense of um, you being alone in this. But there is something that came to light that you're just like, I can't. <clears throat> you're like, I can't go on with it. Even though I want to. Sorry, I had to take a drink. I had to take a drink. Uh, so, hold on a second. Sorry about that. I had to take more than a few drinks after that. So, basically, this is like, um, this is a feel good connection. But there's something about it that you found out. And you're like, I just can't go forward with this as much as I want to. And I feel like it has you in your feels. But you're making that decision to, you know, you do realize the consequences of you carrying this by yourself. It's almost like a half commitment, like, it's almost like they're telling you, you can commit to me, but I can't commit to you because it's something that you found out and you're trying to decide if you're able to do that. But you know, that's going to be heavy for you. You need something that's reciprocal. You need something that is both. Now, this could be about a situation or it could be about a person. Some of you are, you know, in a happily married, you know, uh, situation. So this could be about your relationship leveling up of, you know, 
we can't keep going in this direction. We need to move on into a different direction. Because you do feel like you're going to be carrying everything on you. Bottom card energy is four of cups. See, you feel like things are, you know, you feel like somebody's taking more than what they're, than what they're giving. So that's what I have for you today, Cancers. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. And for anybody who got this far, thank you for watching. I will talk to you soon.